Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. Kamigalia Arm Wrestling Association Mentakasnika Hendrik Nailur Ajar Pasal. Kalapan long yaka program pun kuk buram yaki kandangut ki samla, ki balawandra anam, bat buram yaka ri, bat yaka jela, hak bakila yo yaki medal, haka jingelek kai, bat per bat per, kum ka arm wrestling, MMA, bodybuilding, bat ki wei ki wei, ki balalong shabar jong kari India. U menteri rang pak ka jela, u konrat ke sangma, u layo ban sam yaki kusnam, shaki niki samla, haka niki sni, ka balapan long, haka jepi assembly hall. U menteri rang pak u la ai ka jingero, yaki niki nong job, naka benta ka jinglan nade. Bak kencing terus tom jongki, hak bak ulang bak negeri kencing job ke bak pelas sisa, bak kum ke jela ke barit kan penmi yang kinong job, hak iran san yang kun hak berthai. Ulai thuru bak sor kar jela ke lele ban nang kentiu, ban ai kencing kerja nih kisang yang lekai bak per bak per hak jela. U menteri rang bak ulai pentipru bak kan sodan kencing yang lekai football jongki konstituensi bak per bak per nih ke inter konstituensi football tournament hak nih kisni ban wan. Nak kalian ubah syarikat warjuri um menteri beri pet yang ketenat yang lekai hak jela, ula ai kubley yang kini kisamla, bar ula kular bahasa sorkar kan yang beteng ban ai kencing arab yaki. Kini kinong job kikan top yang usen nabi singkli, mi sngobha rembai, starina jasan, hubert paliar, margaret patau, don bor rum nong, bar johnny nong rum, kibala yo yaki medal haki bentar bapher bapher. Kumpulan syukdo kidan kat sanggut nampok kari india kibala yo yaki medal haki niki kencing arab bapher bapher. Hak benda pedeng kini kendai ngut kide ini ke jela Megalia. Mr. Benbua Rumang and also Mr. Johnny Mahon. Let's give them a big round of applause. I would request all your teams to please come to the stage once again so that we have a brief photo along with the ministers, chief ministers and the front. Thank you. Uh, silver medal and bronze medal in a grandmaster degree that is about 50 years old. This is Obviously, most importantly, all the medal winners uh, who have been facilitated today here in this program. I will not take uh, much time, but uh, at the very outset, I would like to thank God Almighty for uh, having us given this beautiful day 
and more importantly for giving the opportunity to all our young sports persons to showcase their talent and bring laurels and pride to our state and to our country and of course to their family members. I also would like to really thank the association for having taken the initiative of organizing and ensuring that uh, our athletes, our sports persons and the different uh, individuals who participated were able to be part of this world championship. Because we all know that it's not easy. It's very tough. You have to have the real passion inside you and the belief inside you and the real desire to make this happen and push it to face the challenges that you have all faced to come to this level of uh, winning medals and uh, defeating champions at the world stage, at the global stage. And uh, as was being mentioned by our pastor who was here, who was earlier mentioned, you know, talking about it, that who ever expected that our, you know, talent and our sports persons would be able to defeat the best in the world. And that's the kind of uh, talent that we have shown, the kind of commitment that you have shown, not just, as I said, the sports persons and the participants, but the entire organizing committee that has ensured, the association that has ensured that you have participated at this level. So my congratulations to the winners, Congratulations to the participants. All of you are winners in my eyes. You may not have won the medal, but you the fact that you participated, faced the challenges, and competed at the world stage, I think speaks a lot about the character inside you and the determination that you had to compete at the top level. I congratulate, as I said, the organizing committee and the association. Financially, you had challenges whether to organize this, whether to have the programs, whether to participate at the international level. It's not easy to do these kind of things. But it's your determination that has made this possible. I'm happy that from the Chief Minister's special grant, we were able to support you with about seven and a half lakhs. I know it's not enough, but whatever support we could give, as you all know that I support hundreds of associations and organizations like these, uh, and therefore it's not possible for me to always give the entire amount. But wherever possible we support and I'm happy to see that whatever small support we gave, uh, it has at least helped uh, in, uh, in really you know, supporting you to be part of this tournament. Having said that, uh, of course, uh, sports has been a very, very important part of what we do as a government. And uh, I repeat myself when I say this, but uh, we have always believed that sports is uh, not just about the medals that we win, but sports is about the character we build in our youngsters. The discipline, the hard work, the competitiveness, to be able to have the courage to compete at the top level, to be able to accept defeat in life and move forward, these are characters and qualities that sports builds in us, which cannot be measured simply by the medals that we give. But it is a lifetime investment we make in the character of our youngsters, in the character of our citizens. And that is the larger goal and objective of our government. And that's the reason why sports is at the center of what we try to do. The youth is at the center of what we try to do. And that's the reason in the last Six years, I was sharing with some of our friends earlier that we have invested more in infrastructure and facilities in our state in terms of sports in the last six years, more than what was done in the last 45 years put together. So that's how much focus we are putting on sports. And I'm sure the association and the uh, Meghalaya uh, State Olympic Association will be 
testimony to that uh, work that we're doing. The amount of support we give to the associations. I remember 2018 when uh, Bajon and uh, the other members had come to me and they said, sir, we don't get any funds to organize any tournaments. And I think that meeting we had was the starting point of so many things that we've been able to do in the last many years. Yes, it's a long process to be able to finally say win medals and you know compete at the national level or even win international uh, competitions. But it's a journey that started six years back and I'm happy to see that we are really moving in a very, very positive way. And I think today is the sports, uh, this felicitation program is a testament to that belief and to that journey and that process that we are in. I was sharing with my friends, some of them were telling me, some colleagues were mentioning that uh, so we have a cabinet meeting, you know, a lot of important things to discuss. This is a felicitation program, I'm sure sports minister can go. So I told them that yes, it may be a small program, but it is a very, very meaningful program. It's not about the number of people who are out here. But it is a message that we give as political leaders. It is a motivation and the inspiration that we instill in our youngsters by simply being present here, even if it means for 15 minutes. My objective is to share with you and to tell you that I am proud of what you're doing and that I am there, we are there with you. In whatever way possible, I'm not saying we can do everything. It's not possible. But whatever it may be, we will walk together through these challenges and I hope that we will come out even more successful in the days and months and years to come. Lastly, I also want to share with you that uh, uh, in terms of sports, not just infrastructure, uh, a large number of other programs, tournaments are being organized. I'm very happy we have a very young, very dynamic uh, sports minister under his leadership. As I said, um, you know, the Megalai Games is now happening on an annual basis. And uh, this year is going to be in July. And the beauty of this uh, shifting these games to different locations is that we develop the infrastructure in those areas. I was sharing with, um, you know, other friends and of course Minister knows that when we go to a location, actually we end up investing in the schools, in the colleges, you know, and we improve their toilets, we improve their dormitory, we improve their classrooms because that's where the sports persons will stay. But when we leave, we're leaving an asset behind for that school to use even after the games are over. So that's the kind of investment and work we do when we have these kind of games. So yes, we invest 15 crores in infrastructure, but that's not infrastructure that belongs to us. It belongs to a particular school, maybe a particular hospital, maybe. Uh, an organization and then they are there to use that in the future. So Megalai Games is a great success and every year we are seeing so many youngsters, you know, uh, I, I, I've heard so many stories about youngsters already practicing for the Megalai Games this year to participate in July and earlier there was nothing to look forward to. So that's something great. Uh, we are also happy that we will be starting I think one discipline in the para uh, sports. Uh, so we will be starting. Honorable Minister has proposed to me that uh, we should have at least two or three disciplines. One minimum, but at least maybe one, two, three di disciplines where we'll have the para uh, uh, kind of para Olympics kind of uh, games where at least one or two will be for our uh, friends who are you know in a physically uh, challenged. Uh, we'll have different programs and sports, uh, you know, disciplines, at least in one or two of them, which we will introduce in this particular uh, Megalai Games this year that's going to happen in July. So that's again another new thing that's happening. Another very exciting thing, I think this may be a nice time to announce it in one way. And this is again an idea that has come from the Honorable Sports Minister. He's very passionate about it. Uh, I know you'll say that, oh, again, football. But yeah, football. So uh, we'll be happy to know that Honorable Minister has proposed uh, a tournament uh, for football, which I hope will be starting this season after Megalai Games. So after Megalai Games, where we will be having a league, uh, which will be uh, inter-constituency league. So 60 constituencies will compete uh, to fight for one league where all constituencies 
uh, we'll have a football team and uh, we expect that this will be a massive league. So uh, it's, it's, it's not just about the sports, it's also about the exchange and the different kind of uh, you know, uh, people traveling to different parts of the, of the state. So you can imagine that uh, one day we'll have a uh, uh team that will go down to say Selsela or Bakmara and play uh, a match against them or the Tikrikila team will come and play the match in uh, Kleriak for example. So I think these kind of things will be very interesting. I hope that uh, you know in the future we'll be able to do it in other sports and other disciplines also. So a lot of exciting things happening in the sports department and the sports sector. And of course you are aware that uh, very large infrastructures also are being proposed. Small infrastructures also are being proposed. And uh, we'll be happy to work even more closely with MSOA as well as the other associations to help you uh, organize your own programs at the state level, district level, create infrastructures uh, at the state level, at the district level, so that you're able to promote your discipline, your sports, uh, and uh, you know your uh, interests uh, in a manner in which we're able to take it forward. So we are very keen to work with our associations. Uh, we're very keen to work with all of you, and we're hopeful that we'll be able to see, uh, as I said, not just a change in the sports, uh, sector in the state as a whole, but more importantly, in the character building, in the overall uh, development, overall development of our youngsters to become better citizens, better individuals in all holistic uh, way that is possible. So that's really our larger goal and uh, we're hopeful that uh, we'll be able to achieve that. Uh, I don't want to speak much about other aspects, uh, but uh, you know, just to share with you that it's not just sports. We, if you look at the entire approach of how government is moving, we're looking at every aspect from health, from early childhood development, from adolescence issues, from teenage issues, uh, and so on and so forth. So it's a larger holistic plan, but sports and the discipline plays a very, very critical part in the larger goal and strategy that we have as a government. So with these few thoughts and with these few words, once again, I congratulate our medal winners and I congratulate all the participants. I congratulate the association for the hard work. I wish you all the very best for the future and I assure you of all the support from our side in whatever way possible, as I said. We may not be able to do everything, but we will never leave you alone. We will be with you in all the difficult situations so that we can move forward in this entire process together. So may God bless Mawa, may God bless all the associations, may God bless our MSOA, and may God bless each and every one of us present out here, and may God bless our beautiful state of Meghalaya. God bless you both, Matela and Jackie. Ya kembali dulu. Apa yang mengenai publik terbang dulu, ya ibu Chief Minister Budan Burung Jumi, Sri Konrad Sama, uh, I would like to thank our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Konrad K. Sangma for sparing his valuable time to be a part of this program where we are going to face these athletes who have won money for us today. Makwa Rungan Ayat Kublai Kirpang Eh, Ya I MDC Budan Bulam, I Rafaan Dengi Dan Rekan Lakum Ni, Nak Kementang Bukup Bulam, Ya Kini Ki Athletes Kujau. Makan mau kini kini get tayo di belakang, lalu kini get naik belakang. Ya kepanggilan kendo, ya u presiden, juga ambassador association, pak Jun. Kepanggil ya kendo, banyak keren, banyak suah, bikin leg, support mandoba, layo ya kini ya kendo. Banyak ada pak kejutan, ada juga por, malah omi pak Jun, banyak kalian dan kawan, ingin ai kejengirap. Dalam tak association, nama midan ni kerjanya ni tu masih ham, bagi nubaga ni kerjanya ram, ia tu bagi nyok, bagi leg, bagi tu present ni state ke juni, bagi ni teman dalam tak kerjalah ke juni, baru aku juga por midan ni kerjanya teman, bagi job, bagi medals, tu kumta akan mengadap tak kerjanya teman, bah kalung, urlong sisa, kata tak kerjanya anglo ke juni, bah beli ia tu mengat keren ni kerjanya, bah nak kalian ke juni ke sekarang, nak kalian ke juni ke government. Ni nak kepor, saya kepor, ni juga anjing sim, ni juga encourage. Lakukan lagi. Kini punya bi association tu, kami tambah kepada ini. 
bagi apa yang dia di sport Dia akan mengikut saya, mengikut saya, tentu lagi Kami nak pilih yang bersokar, nak pilih yang bergabung Nak keluar, nak keluar, dia akan dekat lah buat pergi asosiasi Lah kalau nak akan mengikut saya, senyap Lah kalau nak akan mengikut saya, nak mengikut saya Nama dia kata kata jengit Bagi limpah ke jengit terilang macam ni Buat kini di asosiasi, di bapak-pak Bapak-pak Dia akan kata kata jengit, kalau ada kata jengit terilang Nini iru itu di atlet sejumi bagi nak kira nak kapor sebab kapor. Maju om bah agak jengialam jom chief minister berdan berom jumi. Udah ni kata kata jengi jengai kata kata vision kepada mau mau ii mau kuat yang berdiri ii yang ikon sama jom jalan jumi yang di atlet jom jalan jumi bagi nak kira akan nombor sports kepada mugi kita. Nak kapor, nak kapor, ni jadi show meeting ni ni apa khat, macam mana ni tempio? Ia kini ki atlet ki jadi berkunta, kumpul pengat red kai i, ni di kegiatan tayo di belakang ni mengalami ni kuli statement ni ke pengalaman, benda kai yang kesukar, nang ni syakman ni nang ni don benda bagi association berkunjung di sports club di bawah bawah kapangin ai, ia ka isal ni kini dos ni yang si association di sports club di bawah bawah Bat bermaki ni ini tertutur lagi bagi tuan cemat bagi proposal bermaki kita nak lihat baju ni ini bersangkat ke bumi lah bumi nos yang bumi air kat kaji jaram nak benda kini kita pun sama lagi berjalan baju ni kantam ha kebede berkesport dengan firman bah kini kita ini baru kini belum kita di ke investment ke belum ke beli noi entri hati senam bintang wan Lepas ni tuh muntah kasih ni mula bangun orang la syarikat dia pun ikhlas itu so. Bagaimana kita kerja tuh kerja ni kita kerja ni kerja ni kerja di asosiasi kerja pun sama lagi. Jom kita kerja lagi kerja ni kerja ini kerja sports bagaimana kita kerja ni kerja ni lepas ni mula ia kerja ni ini bagi dia pun ikhlas itu so la syarikat dia bersih ni. Nanti kerja ni kita kerja ni perkhidmat berkerja ni kerja ni ia kerja ni orang. Bagi nado mental dan nila, ia akan menyerap di individuali dalam sports club dan association. Bagi nado mental dan nila, ia akan mengin invest, mengin ai kata kerja menyerap di mikirman dalam dalam dia lah syair dan sisi yang dia hadir sangat senang dalam dia sihat senang. Nian saya ini bar, you tahu so ubat yang. So first of all, how did you get into this? Thank you so much. So first of all, just tell us how did you get into this industry? Who inspired you? Bodybuilding. So what happened, like since I was a kid, I was so fun of uh, like muscle, have muscle and all. Then she tell my dad like when I grow up, I want to be in this sports and all. Then my father used to guide me, it's like saying, once you your age is right, right, then you can go join the gym. So that's what I did. When my age, I joined gym at the age of twenty, in the year two thousand ten. Then I started bodybuilding. Then I started working out since there. Then I started competing in the year of two thousand thirteen. Then it's uh, kept on going till now. So how have been your journey? How uh, like difficult it was journey? starting and how it is now? Journey when it comes down to our sports, it's a bit, uh, every sport is a bit tough. But then like when, you know, like let's, if we talk about my sport, it's like uh, my journey is like mostly dedication, uh, uh, dedication, consistency and everything we do. It's like the food we have to eat and we walk out in the gym daily and then uh, everything is based upon diet and the diet is a bit tough. It's not like we can eat anything, everything we want, but then we should have that strict, uh, strict diet means like a complex carbohydrate, complex protein, all those. So it's a bit kind of tough to follow, but since it's our passion, so we use it. So how do you see the, how do you see the future of how much in Meghalaya? Yeah, bodybuilding right now compared before and now it's a, it's far more. It's growing up. It's growing up in like not like before. Now this is like bodybuilding. They have introduced these three division, which is a uh, open bodybuilding, then uh, classic bodybuilding, which I am in, and men's physique, which I'm in. So since the coming of these two new division, the bodybuilding in Meghalaya is growing and it's booming, and most and especially like now the days we are living, it's like uh, gym is a trend, a lifestyle. So that's it. And what suggestion would you or message would you like to give the budding bodybuilders those who are coming up? Yeah, my suggestion to them is like, see, if you want to come into bodybuilding, bodybuilding is a good sport. It teaches you discipline, it teaches you to be consistent. So, if you want to come up, it's very good. You can come, <coughs> join, then uh, and uh, compete. 
Okay. So we are there to help out. Okay. So, how many people stand in this uh, world champion? In this, in my, in my, in the champion which I went out there in Philippines, all together the participants were like fifteen hundred plus. So, in my division which I'm in, all together were five hundred plus. So I got the title of overall men's physique, men's Bermuda in uh, uh, Mr. Asia Pacific 2024.